if you just want to introduce yourself and your affiliation so, so he starts to get to know everybody. Hey, David, Jeff Wilson with Rangers today. Um, congratulations on the deal. Um, Thank you. What, uh, what what do you think about this opportunity going to the reigning world champions? Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like 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 you said, reigning world reigning champs. Um, you know, it, it was a it was a difficult decision for me, but I mean, in the end, like it's a good fit for me. Um, got opportunities in the bullpen. You know, I, I'm got no issues wherever I pitch at, but you know, there's an opportunity to mix in anywhere at that back end and to a, to a powerhouse offense, like, like they have, um, I, I, like we have now shoot them on the team. So, uh, I'm excited about that. You know, it's always good to be on a team that slugs a lot. So I, I you know, I'm hoping I can go out there and toe the line and, and, and hold the, hold the ball and, you know, keep, keep, keep the, uh, keep the, be, def- be the defensive player they, they signed me to be. So I'm excited well, about it. Yeah. You know, what, what do you like about, working at the back of a, a bullpen like you've done your whole career what 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 is the what is it like for you oh it's ex- it's exciting I, I mean every time I'm every time every time I'm taking the ball in a game it's 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 a pressure packed situation I mean I've, I've had you know a handful of outings in the past few years where it's been a nice cushy seven run lead or something or you're working with a you know you haven't thrown in a week and you pitch in a 10 run game where you're winning and and they're, those are fun. Don't get me wrong, but like the adrenaline rush of getting out of big situations and and, and beating the best part of a, of another team's lineup is, is a lot of fun. I mean, you don't always come out on top, but it is it's exciting to go in there and battle with those guys. All right, man. Thank you. No problem. Okay, uh, Howard, go ahead. David Howard Meddahl, Baseball Perspectives. Good to see you again. Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Um, I wanted to just uh, hoping you can take me through kind of the conversations that the Rangers had with you about your role, um, you know, in terms of where and how uh, they are hoping to best use you. And and even just from your perspective at this point, as somebody who's kind of done it all, uh, where you think you are the best fit in uh, the back of a given bullpen. Honestly, it, it, it doesn't matter to me when I pitch in the game. Like, I mean, that's not my call. I'm just there to be prepared and be ready to go out there and face whoever I've got to face. Um, but, you know, I mean, like in the past, it's been been the high leverage innings, um, taking on the meat of the order. Um, but, I mean, like I'm, I'm open to whatever they're – however they're going to use me. I'm, You know, if it's closing down games, great. You know, I'm sure, you know, that can happen. Like even with the Mets last year, I was throwing – you know, when Edwin got hurt and I was throwing – sometimes I'd throw the eighth inning instead of the ninth and Ottavino would throw the ninth just because that's how the game lined up and that's who – they wanted me to face. I'm okay with that happening with the Rangers as well. So I'm I'm well prepared for for whatever they throw at me. I'll I'll be ready to go. And it sounded like that was what they saw you as well as somebody who could be both of those things. Yeah, I, yeah. I have no I have no problem. I've got no you know I have no. I'm not I'm not in this game to close down games. I'm in this in this I'm on this team to win games. Like however we got to win. I'm just a part of the, part of that that team that's going to try to win. Appreciate it, David. Thank you. No problem, Stefan. David, uh, Stefan Stevenson with Inside the Rangers Fan Nation. Um, I'm curious, how are you a different pitcher now as opposed to 10 years ago? And what has made you so effective in the last couple of years? Has, are you a different – is what makes you effective different than what it was when you were an all-star in 2011? And You know, it's funny you say that. I felt like back in, like, in those days, like I was kind of considered a hard thrower. Uh well, then it seemed like in with them in a matter of two or three years, everybody started throwing 100. But I kept doing the same thing, but I had to adapt and figure out other ways to get guys out. So I relied a lot more on control, uh, learning how to spin the ball faster um, and using my breaking ball a lot more. So developing that, that breaking ball and really getting a, a good grip on throwing it and being able to throw it at any point in any count really saved my career. And, and, and mixing in a slider that, you know, is, is it's not my best pitch, but it does it, it is effective. And uh, – I think being able to balance three pitches versus where I was younger, throwing two pitches and throwing a lot more fastballs has, has been a big key for me. Um, I'm, I'm always willing to adapt. These hitters are really good, and the strike zone seems like it just gets smaller and smaller every year. And uh, Or at least, the, at least the, I would say the hitters have a better eye for the strike zone every year. So um, I've just been trying to do my best as I've gotten older is to, to keep the ball in the zone and trust in my defense more and quit trying to go for so many strikeouts. I mean, obviously – Strikeouts are great, and I go for them when I can. But like in the meantime, I, I've 
I am trying to pitch to contact and try to get soft contact as fast as possible. Thanks, man. No problem. All right, Stephen Hawkins. Hey, Dave. Stephen Hawkins with the AP in Dallas. Like you said, you just want to be you. You see what this team's done. What is it about what you've seen from this group though that you like? They're relentless. I mean, gosh, I didn't have to pitch against them, but I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to get in the game when I was with Miami. Uh, but like, huh. it just seems like there's so many threats at the plate every game. I mean, it, it, you don't know who's going to get you, and um, those are the offenses you don't really want to face. Uh, it's just tough to to you know go through that lineup and and put zeros up as a pitcher. So, I mean, if those guys put runs on the board, our job is, is to do our best to minimize the damage. You know, on the other end, on, on the defensive side. So. I, I think that, to me, is like it was a big draw for me. I mean, I love being on a team that's offensive, that, that likes to score runs. You said you don't mind what role. You just want to win. And obviously you've got Mike mm -hmm. Maddox and Bruce Bochy, kind of the old school guys. Talk about playing for those two guys and what you know about them. Well, I mean, I I just talked to Boach real quickly on the phone and, and got to meet uh, Mike when I signed. I was down there when I was going through the physical. I had a few minutes just to chat with him. Um, but, I mean, from what I've seen, they've – you know, from years past, everyone seems to love playing for them and enjoy be being around them. So I'm excited to get in there and work with them both. I'm sure they'll find a role for me, and and I'll be glad to take whatever role they give me. I mean, I'm just one part of the team, and I'm going to throw whenever they, they tell me to. It ain't no big deal to me. I mean, <laughs> grab that ball and go throw it. Last thing for you. Obviously, you know, the surgery a couple of years ago, but you've had 120 outings, 120 appearances the last two seasons. Just talk about physically where you are at this stage in your career. Yeah, um, I mean, physically, I feel good. Um, you know, I had uh, I had the Tommy John surgery with a little bit more uh, with with some other issues as well in it. So my rehab was a little lengthened. I was also, you know, thirty five years old rehabbing. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a successful surgery. Thank you, Doctor Andrews. Again, you know, he's helped so many guys. So he was he put me back together, and I just had to let the rehab process happen for me, which took a little longer than most, and then. Uh, I didn't think I was done with baseball, so I kept fighting hard and trying to get back in. And then once I found my groove and managed to get back into the big leagues, I was, I was, I knew I could still compete at this level. I mean, the guys are still getting are good and are getting better, but I, I'm, I'm more than happy to go out there and fight with them and battle them out there in the game because I still think I can hang with them. All right, thanks, David. No problem. All right, we'll go to Sean McFarland. Hey, David, Sean McFarland of the uh, Dallas Morning News. You look at the Rangers' defense, his gold glover at first base, gold glover catcher, gold glove finalist up the middle. You know, as a pitcher, when you look at that, um, what's that like coming to a situation where the defense behind you is in a pretty good spot? It's I tell you what the biggest thing is is for me on the defensive side, it's like when I'm when I'm having a when I'm when you're having a tough day, when you can't find the zone or you don't really want to give in to a hitter. And sometimes you just got to say, well, I'm going to put something over the plate and hope that my defense can bail me out on it. And it's always nice when you turn around and look and you, you know, you know, those gold gloves are everywhere and you say, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to force this guy to hit a pitch that I don't really want to throw, but he's going to hit it. You know, he's going to. Um, and then you just let it play out. I mean, those are the guys that save you, save you runs and, and, and can save your outings. So, I mean, having that trust in, in, a, on, in, in your defense makes it easier to pitch when you, when you're not having a good day or when you know you've got to give in to a hitter, um, it, it it definitely helps to be able to turn around and see those guys. Okay, go to Jared Sandler. Hey, David, Jared Sandler, Rangers Radio. Um, I'm just curious with your curveball that's been such a big pitch for you throughout your entire career. Uh, has it changed at all? I mean, is it the same pitch when you first came up? Have you had to make some tweaks and adjustments, maybe post surgery? Uh, I guess I'm just curious, kind of the the evolution of that pitch for you since you've uh, come up. Uh, it's it's funny that I, I haven't really changed anything on the the grip. I have I've had the same grip for years on on my curveball. Um, but lately, it's funny at my fastball. I feel like my fat whenever my fastball velocity comes down, my curveball speed goes up. So I don't know why that's happening, but I've I've managed to start throwing my curveball harder and harder over the years. You know, like at times I throw it and I'm like, gosh, I can't believe I threw that. 87 miles an hour but I, I didn't feel like it. it just for some reason I think the grip is really comfortable to me um but I've been able to to do a better job of controlling it um be able you know like it, back in in the past I used to throw it so much into the dirt but now with hitters being is having such a good eye you kind of have to really miss you know like nipping the zone so I've been doing being really working hard on trying to keep my curveball closer to the zone so that guys have to make that split decision of whether they want to swing or is it a strike 
So I think that maybe by doing that, my velocity has gone up, but I still can manipulate that pitch a little bit at times. Like you might see me throw some at, at a different speed and then some really hard, but uh, it's still the same grip. It's the same pitch that I've thrown for however long I've been playing. I guess what, when did you start throwing that? Was it high school, college? And, and who were the people who helped you develop that pitch? Yeah, I mean, I I probably started throwing it way too young when I was like eight, you know. And if somebody teaches you a curve, a new grip, you're like, oh man, just keep throwing it, keep throwing it. Um, but I didn't, I never really. It's funny, I always thought I had a really good slider until I got into the professional baseball, and and they told me I couldn't throw my slider anymore. They're like, just throw your curveball. And the same thing happened in college. My college coach was like, well, you can only have one breaking ball. You can only throw a slider or a curveball. So I had for my freshman year, I threw a curveball. My sec- my sophomore year, I threw a slider. And anyways, I just, you know, everyone's had a little bit of hand in it. And, and I think, uh, you know, some of the biggest, t- biggest thing, one of the biggest things I learned was being able to throw it and hit, hit the plate with it and try to hit behind the plate and trust that you can, you know, when you get some of these catchers in the big leagues, they block everything, they eat everything up. So being able to throw that pitch and they're depending on it to be in the dirt and me being able to hit the dirt with it and get a swing and miss, that was one of the biggest things that really changed changed how I pitched in baseball or in in the major leagues. My last one for me. Any thoughts on Kalen DeBoer? Uh, I I don't I haven't had a chance to to meet him, so I don't have any thoughts on him yet. <laughs> okay, thanks, David. No problem. Go back to Jeff Wilson. Just to, some house cleaning. Where, how how many times have you been off a mound, or have you been off a mound? Where are you at in your off-season regimen here okay so this is where it's going to get weird because uh i am a <laughs> i am a, a notoriously slow thrower uh you know i learned from mariano rivera that uh they don't that spring training doesn't count uh so i don't really throw a baseball until i get to camp so you won't see me pitching in a game until much later in spring uh i just find that i'm not looking to i don't need 13 or 14 outings in spring to be ready for the season i, I, I usually typically come in physically prepared and ready. I just don't throw a lot. I, I'll, I'll build up gradually. And by the time we break for camp, I'll be ready to go back to back and I'll be ready to throw 35 or 40 pitches in a game. So, or throw multiple innings. I'm, I'm always at that point. I, I stay in great shape. I just don't throw a lot. So it's kind of, it's kind of different. I know most people don't do it and they can't understand how I do it, but it's, it's, it's not uncommon for me to show up at spring and my first day of playing catch is my first day in spring training. Huh. Well, I mean, I, I mean, Mario Rivera, you know, it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> he was pretty good, so I kind of, you know, follow his lead on a few things. All right. Thanks. No problem. All right. Any last questions before we let David go? All right. Well, thanks, David, for, for jumping on with us, and thanks, everybody, for joining. We appreciate it. See you soon. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm.